Hi everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of SASTrack. Today, I'm reviewing a website builder called UCraft. As we all know, in today's digital era, websites have become a prominent digital asset for businesses out there. Nowadays, for running an online business seamlessly, you need to have a site where you can showcase your products and services in the best possible way. However, don't you know that there are almost 1.74 billion websites on the internet as of January 2020? Hence, you can see how competitive this realm is right now. That's why maintaining a website while running your business is not that easy. But it's not difficult though. You just have to make sure that you're selecting the best platforms and related aspects for your website creation process. And that brings us to this video. Yep. Today, we are going to talk about UCraft, one of the most useful website builders of our time. I have used it personally for website creation, and I can definitely say that it's one of the best you can get, especially as a beginner. So now I'm just scrolling down their homepage so that you can get a glimpse of some of their features. All right, so let's scroll up and without further ado, let's start. So speaking of start, getting started with this platform is like a three-step process. But first, let's sign in. If you created your account already, then click sign in. And now there are three steps, right? First, you have to choose a template. Let's say this one, for example, you may preview and a new window will open to see how the website or the template will look like. So very sleek, simple design. So if you like that one, then let's click select. Next, you need to name your subdomain. So let's try um, this is just a test site. Click get started. And then finally, select your pricing plan. So it can be either a monthly or a yearly subscription. Either way, UCraft offers a 14-day free trial, so you won't be charged. No credit card will be required. Click Next and click Start 14-day trial. So they're now creating the website based on the template and subdomain that you have specified. All right, so your 14 day free trial has just started. Let's get started. So congratulations, we can now start creating our website following these basic steps. So yeah, add your logo content, some basic and advanced steps and additional steps. So let's click start crafting. And as you can see, this is the template that we chose earlier. So this is basically the overview of the UCraft website builder. So after logging into this website builder, you'll be able to see a toolbar here on the left side of the screen. So it consists of attributes such as preview, dashboard, blocks, elements, colors, effects, and progress. Let's understand them one by one, starting with preview. So of course, with a preview feature, you can see how your website will appear as a whole. With UCraft, you can see how your website is going to look not only in, you know, desktop mode, which is the default, but also in tablet version. So you can scroll down like this and mobile version. So it's a really cool preview feature. Going back, let's go to the dashboard. So in the dashboard tool, you have several other features or sub features, including pages, designer tools, media, SEO, domain, team, logo maker, site settings, all of these. So according to each of these, you know, features, you can tweak your website as per your wishes and needs. All right, let's go back to go to the third one blocks. So this section will allow you to, you know, drag and drop different block segments into your website. And 
here you can select like categories for each block like headers and then it will automatically like appear here and let's say you like this one so you can easily just drag and drop it into the you know right location so it it also tells you where the header should go so it says header over here so let's drag and drop it here and it updated our header based on our choice so these are all like pre-existing but you can also add your own block section by uploading them so there's uh, aside from the gallery section there's also a my block section otherwise you can just get tons of pre-made blocks you know to add so next up is elements so the elements tool of this website builder is divided into eight different subcategories such as basic elements navigation contacts e-commerce article social integrations and miscellaneous and similar to the blocks feature you can add you know these different elements or widgets by dragging and dropping so let's say Instagram for example so if you drag it you can easily just put it anywhere right so let's say here for example so there we go you may need to embed a code here and paste it here to see it on your page next up colors so this window will provide you with a color palette and this will allow you to easily change the colors of the elements and text of your website so let's say white for example and the recent colors will be remembered as well so this is for flat colors we also have gradient colors so a lot of options to choose from and you can just drag it like for example here and it became white but the text is white so that's probably a bad idea i guess what we can do is drag it here because the text here is black so if we drag white here then yeah they're now more visible let's try dragging it to the text see what happens and the text becomes white so you can either drag and drop it to a text to change the text color or to the background or the elements on your website after colors we have effects so this tab will have four different sub features the fade in rotate parallax and other you can use them to change the graphics of your website like for example rotate to right or rotate to left like if you have a picture for example that you want to rotate or a text that you want to fade in you may use these effects to catch the attention of those who visit your website finally we have progress so under the progress window you can see your overall website creation progress according to three different categories uh, basic steps advanced steps and additional steps so we encountered them earlier so yeah just a reminder of how much you have completed your website or if maybe there are steps that you skipped or forgot then yeah this is a great reminder to see your progress so far in creating this particular website so this was the website builder let's go to our dashboard so you can manage multiple websites under the my sites section so click here and then click my sites so you can easily manage the websites that you've created this is the test site from earlier and you can easily add another one over here if you have a lot of websites there's a search function so that you can easily find them you may also order them by last edited or created date moreover you can also invite your peers for website creation so there's like an invited tab over here you can also delete your created websites from here too. Hover on the website you want to delete and click the remove or the trash bin button over here. So yeah, you can also duplicate the created website, view the website, and edit. So a lot of really cool features, right? Well, as they say, nothing is completely perfect in this world. Everything has some shortcomings. So in the case of Ucraft, the one drawback that I, you know, realized is that 
there's a lack of website optimization for mobile phones. And we all know how important it is these days because almost 50% of web traffic comes from your phones. So this is one major disadvantage. But other than that, UCraft is a really good website builder and I would definitely recommend it. And with that, let's talk about UCraft pricing. So let's go to the homepage over here, then click pricing. So there are four pricing plans offered by UCraft, which are the following. Free, Pro Website, Pro Shop, and Unlimited. You can compare features of all these plans from here. So you can see all the details and this will help and guide you in choosing the right plan for you. It also offers a 14-day free trial, which you can get from the link given in the description. And this is my review of UCraft. I hope you'll find this video helpful. And if you want to ask me something more about this website builder, drop your comments in the section below and I'll reply to you for sure. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.